Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Trauma Team. In today's episode, I'm going to be demonstrating what the orthopedics missions look like on Specialist Difficulty. They haven't changed too much, but the one major change is going to irritate you quite a bit. On Specialist Difficulty, the sizes of all the guidelines are halved. This particular mission is Love in the Ground, which is Hank's third orthopedic procedure. This is the most difficult one that I could do. I tried doing the next one, and it's just too difficult for me. Nothing is, literally nothing has changed about the mission other than the guideline size. I explained this in the previous episode, but you can press minus at any point during the operation to skip all of the dialogue, and that is probably what you'll want to do if you're going for high rankings, like uh, at, like XS, which is available only in Specialist. Now one thing you will notice is that I'm going a lot slower than I am, or than I normally would, due to the decreased size of the guideline, but in order to... Uh, in order to get high grades in specialist mode, you need to go very fast because the time limits are a lot tighter for getting uh, high grades. The score requirements are a lot higher. You need to get more cools. You need to get all of the special bonuses. Well, you need all the special bonuses to even get the S rank. The XS rank is primarily uh, determined by speed. Once you satisfy the chain requirement, you don't have to worry about your chain. Your chain actually does not impact your score. Supposedly, this mission is actually the hardest excess in the entire game. Just because the time limit is very tight, I believe... To get the excess, you have to get all cools and finish the operation in under 4 minutes and 5 seconds, which is something I'm not even going to come close to doing. And staying within the, the small guideline is a lot harder than it looks. Now you may remember in the first orthopedic mission where we were where we were cutting out adenoma. The last adenoma, remember the last adenomas that had a narrow guideline that was, uh, that was half the, the size of all the regular ones? Well, that last Adenomus on Specialist has its guideline halved again. So it's a quarter of the guideline size on Resident, and it's just extremely narrow and very hard to stay within the... It's very hard to stay within the lines and... It's just so easy to get misses. I don't think you're allowed to get any misses on that operation for the excess. If you're allowed any, you're allowed one. And I I distinctly remember the time limit being very tight on that. The moving camera also makes it very easy uh, to lose your place. I believe to get the special bonus for chain on this mission, you need a chain of at least 7,000. Now once, now once the Rosalia bruises and Rosalia tumors come in, this mission gets very interesting on Specialist. I'm actually glad I'm able to refer to them by the name Rosalia rather than just the Black Bruise. And I like what they did, uh, giving you a glimpse at Rosalia in pretty much every mode before you knew what it was. They did that with one of the Neo Guild in Under the Knife 2 as well. Now remember when I... Remember when I yelled at Atlas for the moving guideline? Well, it's even harder to deal with here because the guideline is half as is uh, half as big as it was, and it's very easy to fail the mission outright. Another very annoying thing about the moving guideline is if you do not start cutting when the guideline is in that blue circle, you will automatically get another miss. 
And I believe this happened at uh, several points during the operation, like right there. This is definitely the most frustrating part of the operation, and where you're most likely to get a miss. But you don't have time for that. What are you doing? Do it more carefully. And this is probably the worst case scenario where the circle is passing over the guideline twice, so it's not going to stop. The missions are no different, just basically you have to be more precise. Uh, there are some minor changes, like I believe the final Hank mission, the one that has this but with the regenerating tumors. Like the regenerating soft spinal rosalia tumors. Uh, I believe the time limit for those is reduced, and the number of times that you can allow it to regenerate is with the bonus. Is, uh, for the bonus, I believe that's decreased as well, and that makes this, that, that makes that operation very difficult to access as well. Just your timing, your timing in general, like your timing windows for screws and such, uh, those are tighter. Like, if I did this on Resident with these screws, I would be getting all cools right now. But the timing windows are tightened up for specialists. Not bad at all. Like, that would definitely be a cool on uh, Resident difficulty. Now when you're sliding rod when you're sliding rods or doing long drills, these are these are places where you're very apt to get misses on specialists because you don't have a lot of room to maneuver. And in cases like this, when you had that previous um, that Rosalia thing to deal with with the moving guidelines, it's very easy between that and this to just fail this operation outright. Uh, that was extremely frustrating, because I was mere pixels from the guideline. Um, another thing I would recommend doing is, hold, is uh, when you're stapling up the patient, to hold the, to hold the Wii remote with two hands so that you don't jerk when you press the B button. Uh, you can also hold down the A button for extra stability, so, you don't, so the only button you have to press is B. Uh, but that'll be a wrap. At least for the operation. After this, I'm going to show off, uh... Yeah, you need to get 36... You need to get, uh, 36 out of 39 pools just to get the bonus, and you can't afford a single good if you're going for the excess. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the metal menu and show off the metal requirements that you can get for orthopedics. And I'll just edit those into the video. Next time on Let's Play Trauma Team, we're going to explore what the EMT segments look like on Specialist, and they are really hectic. Hope you guys enjoy.